more of a, a general wondering. Come on, Ross. <laughs> Here goes. Oh, yes, that's like right. A little girl. Ah! <laughs> oh. G'day Marshmallows and welcome back to the Coco Couch. We are watching Friends Season 1 Episodes 7 and 8. This is becoming my favourite part of the week, I swear. I just, I get so excited for it. I hope you guys are enjoying these. I'm having a blast. All the episodes, the full reactions are up on Patreon. I'm going to be doing those two a week at least. So go and check out the Patreon and see the full reactions. I'm having so much fun. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. The music of Miss Phoebe Buffet. I don't know if Phoebe could play guitar. I want to start with a song that's about that moment. Realize what life is really all about. Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. <laughs> what, that was it? Or was it like an actual blackout? Oh. Okay, it actually was. Oh, no. Oh, great. This is just... <laughs> yes! A crisis situation. <laughs> Perfect setup. Okay, so at the moment, Phoebe and Chandler are probably my favorite characters. We'll see if anything changes. The entire city is blocked. The entire out. city? They have no idea when it's coming back on. Nice. That's always exciting. Who am I gonna meet in a blackout? <laughs> yeah. Power company guys? Eligible looters? Well, I mean, Chandler got lucky. I wanna call my apartment and check on my grandma. Wait, what's my number? <laughs> well, I never call me. It's her. It's that Victoria's Secret model, something good acre. It's Jill. She's right, it's Jill. <laughs> I am trapped in an ATM vestibule with Jill Goodacre. Well, stop staring. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just stuck at the bank. ATM vestibule. Jill says vestibule. <laughs> I'm going with vestibule. <laughs> no, I'm not alone. I don't know, some guy. Ooh. Some guy. Some guy. <laughs> hey, Jill, I saw you with some guy last night. As he was some guy. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> That's so strange when you don't hear his voice. Oh my gosh. Where, where'd you get that from? <laughs> and officiating at tonight's blackout is Rabbi Tribbiani. <laughs> Well, Chandler's old roommate was Jewish, and these are the only candles we have. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah, everyone. <laughs> Ooh, look! Ugly naked guy lit a bunch of candles. Just everyone look at the ugly guy. <laughs> oh. That had to hurt! It's been 14 and a half minutes, and you still have not said one word. Do something. Just make contact. It's more awkward if you don't say anything. <laughs> yeah, dude, don't just smile. You're definitely scaring her. Yeah! Yeah! Would you like to call somebody? Yeah. About 300 guys I went to high school with. <laughs> Thanks. Hello? It's Chandler. Oh. I'm fine. Fruit <laughs> in an ATM vestibule with Jill Wooner. He is making the worst impression. Put Joey on the phone. <laughs> yeah, Joey will know. What's up, man? A trip in an ATM vestibule with Jill Wooner. Oh my god. <laughs> He's trapped in an ATM vestibule with chill good at <laughs> Trust Joey to know. <laughs> yeah, like that thought never entered my mind. <laughs> it's funny because Joey never needed to speak like that, but he did anyway. <laughs> Senior year of college on a pool table. That's my sister. <laughs> oh. My weirdest place, the women's room, New York City Public Library. What were you doing in a library? <laughs> Milwaukee. <laughs> Disneyland. Yeah, the ride broke down. So Carol and I went behind a couple of those mechanical Dutch children. They fixed the ride and uh, we were asked never to return to the Magic Kingdom. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, come on, I already went. No, no, you no. did not go. No, you didn't. Get out of here. Oh, the foot of the bed. <laughs> Step back. We have a winner. <laughs> I wonder if some of that was improv improvised. I just never had a relationship with that kind of passion, you know? Ooh. Right there in the middle of a theme park. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the only thing to do there that didn't have a line. <laughs> That's true. Barry wouldn't even kiss me on a miniature golf course. He said we were holding up the people behind us. Oh. And you didn't marry him because... <laughs> I mean, do you think there are people that go through life never having that kind of... Probably. Really? 
but it's way overrated. It kind of burns out. What you're left with is trust and security. Wow. Well, in the case of my ex-wife, lesbianism. <laughs> Dude, Russ is funny. You know, for all those people who miss out on that uh, passion thing, there's all that other good stuff. Wow. <laughs> Wise words. But, um, but I don't think that's going to be you. You don't. Mm. Big passion in your future. Ooh. You do? I do. Oh, Ross. Oh. <laughs> that was such a bro sort of thing. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> Joey, Joey. Come on, man. What? You and Rachel. <laughs> what a, me and Rachel, what a, <laughs> Why not? Yeah, yep, yeah, I knew he was gonna say that. Because you waited too long to make your move, you're in the friend zone. Mm. No, no, no. I'm not in the zone. Oh, Ross, you're mayor of the zone. <laughs> Look, I'm taking my time, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm laying the groundwork. Now, every day I get just a little bit closer to... Uh... Priesthood! <laughs> she has no idea what you're thinking. If you don't ask her out soon, you're going to end up stuck in the zone forever. Mm. Just, see, I'm waiting for the, uh, the right moment. Ah, it's going to slip by. What? <laughs> what, now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's messing you up. The wine, the candles, the moonlight. Yeah, I know. Say, look, Rachel, I think... <laughs> we're shushing because we're trying to, to hear something. Ah. See? Uh -huh. Oh... <laughs> Oh, Ross, dude, he's just gotta, he's just gotta do something. And the milk is getting sour, I stay away from dairy. <laughs> Born with talent. I'm gonna do it. You want me to help? You come out there, you're a dead man. Good luck, man. Thanks. It's like he's going off to war. This is serious stuff, man. This is serious. I love Joey. Where are you going? Outside? No, no, you, you can't go out there. Okay, listen, he's planning your birthday party. Oh, thank God. Surprise party. Oh, stop it. Joey already told me. Oh, boy. Hey, don't look at me. This is Ross's thing. <laughs> Poor Ross. Oh, typical. I'm always the last one to know everything. Can we tell uh. you stuff? Uh huh. When Chandler got bit by the peacock at the zoo. When you had a crush on Joey when he was moving in. Oh, that looks like I was second to last. <laughs> so nice. Mm. Dude. Not so much a question as more of a, a general wondering. Come on, Ross. <laughs> Here goes. Um. Oh. Yes, yes. No, Rachel. That's right. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Just put the poor little tootie out in the hall. She got trampled. Yeah. <laughs> you know, on second thought, gum would be perfection. Could have said gum would be nice. Gum is perfection. I loathe myself. He's somehow going to pull this off by the end of the episode. Somehow, I feel. Hi. Looking for the owner. It's mine. Seems to hate you. Are you sure? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. my cat. Give me my cat. Oh. Wait a minute, what's his name? Bob Buttons. Bob Buttons? Uh-huh. Bob Buttons. Here, Bob Buttons. <laughs> you are a very bad man. You owe me a cat. <laughs> Gee. Where did you go, little kitty, kitty, kitty? Kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, my gosh. Kitty. Oh. Hi. Wanna see her? Oh, wow. Oh, no, the last thing Ross needed. Everybody, this is Paolo. Yep. Ah. Pa uh. Appena arrivato vivo al piano di sotto, quindi ci vediamo. He doesn't speak much English. <laughs> Monopoly! <laughs> <laughs> Where did uh, Paolo come from? Italy, I think. <laughs> no, I mean tonight, suddenly into our lives. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The cat turned out to be Paolo's cat, isn't oh, that funny? That is funny, and Rachel that is... keeps touching him. Yeah, that is cruel fate. I couldn't find the kitty anywhere. Oh, I found him! Ah, well, there you go, last to know again. Oh. This is Phoebe. Hi. Anche tu bellissima. Se You betcha. <laughs> All of them love it. Blow about. Boyish charm. It's impish. 
Dude, just say hi. <laughs> oh my gosh. Reach over. Back in my mouth. Oh. Chewing someone else's gum. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now you're choking. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Did that break the ice? That was perfection. <laughs> Guarda la luna. Gosh. Guarda le stelle. <laughs> I'd be acting like that too, don't worry. What did he say that was so funny? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? This is so on me. I'll do it. <laughs> I just want to bite his bottom lip. Oh. But I won't. The first time he smiled at me, more exciting than three weeks in Bermuda with Barry. Did you rent mopeds? <laughs> oh, it's not about that right now. <laughs> Nothing in common. Don't even speak the same language, but go. <laughs> All right, calm down. Far out. Something you should, uh, should know. Rachel and I are kind of a thing. Ross. Ooh, at the sex. No. <laughs> Rachel and I should be together. And if you get in the in bed. No, no, not where I was going. <laughs> of us becoming a thing, then I would be, well, very sad. Wow, he's being honest? Ceviche? Si. <laughs> you do know a little English. Little. Yeah. Do you know the word crap weasel? <laughs> you are a huge crap weasel. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was actually a genuine bro moment. Like, can you not take her from me? <laughs> okay, let's try it. You gotta whip it. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Mate, she seems so like lighthearted and fun. How has Chandler not done anything yet? Eight. Seven. Minus forty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd be scaring everyone too. Hey guys, guys, I have the definitive one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Oh, come on. Uh, Ross. That's so rude. You have to throw a party for Monica. <laughs> That's what happens if you don't do anything. Thanks for, uh, for saving my life. I had a great blackout. <laughs> See ya. Say something. I'm account number seven one four three four, and uh, I would really like a copy of the tape. Oh my gosh, dude, <laughs> Chandler! All right, we're gonna get straight into episode eight. But this is what happens, man. Like, she obviously made like a huge move on him earlier, right? When she kissed him in the laundry, and then he didn't do anything after that. I was wondering why nothing happened, and yeah, of course she goes and kisses another guy, right? But I'm wondering whether she treated that guy the same way she treated Ross, as in her decision to kiss both of them was like the same, if you know what I mean. Like it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't really meant to mean much. I don't know. We'll see. And things could be solved so easily with communication, which is, uh, yeah, but if they communicated really well with each other, then there'd be no drama, but we want drama. <laughs> hey, gorgeous. How's it going? Japanese noodles under fluorescent lights. Does it get better than this? You're not dating anybody, are you? I met somebody who would be perfect for you. Had you said codependent or self-destructive? Oh, gosh. He is cute. He's funny. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I just, I feel like... The way he's like... <laughs> I'm just gonna go flush myself down the toilet now. It's nice to see it's not just the main six friends that get embarrassed sometimes. There are other humans in this universe that have very human experiences. Can you believe she actually thought that? Um, yeah. I mean, when I first met you, you know, I thought might be. You did? It's not an insult. <laughs> his entire birthday party talking to my press, so then I figured maybe not. <laughs> Do you guys think that when you first met me? I did. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Not me. No, no, me neither. Uh, Susan Salador did. Did you tell her I wasn't? No. Oh, uh, Chandler's gonna hate this. I wanted to go out with her too. I told her actually you were seeing uh, Bernie Spellman. Oh. Who also liked her. Wow. <laughs> what is it about? Because you're smart, you're funny. Ross is smart and funny. You ever think that about him? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Monica's laughter. 
You have a quality. Yes, yes right? Yeah. I have a quality. Good, because I was worried you guys were going to be vague about this. It's those mannerisms. He's just very expressive. It's Paolo calling from Rome. Buongiorno, caro mio. <laughs> So he's calling from Rome. I could do that. Just gotta go to Rome. <laughs> he's not wrong. Hey, Dad, what's up? Ross, it's Nan. Oh, no. Hey, oh, oh. I wasn't expecting to see the parents this quick. The doctor says it's a matter of hours. Whoa. I'm glad you're here. What's with your hair? Gosh. What's different? Nothing. Oh, maybe that's it. Do they hate her? What's going on? This is Keller. By the way, I've seen the actor who plays their dad in um, the Oceans movies. Goodbye, Nana. I swear, she wakes up. <laughs> I'm gonna flip out. Bye, Nana. Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> she's alive! You know how uh, the nurse said that dad had passed? Well, she's not quite. What? She's not past, she's present. <laughs> <laughs> she may have died. She may have died? We're looking into it. <laughs> she died twice? Now she's passed. Oh my gosh. That's horrible, but hilarious. <laughs> Is it my hair? You have homosexual hair. <laughs> so, um, did she... Twice. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Phoebe. Ever since my mom died, every now and then I get this feeling that she's like right here. <laughs> she's sitting on Chandler's lap. Struck by lightning on a miniature golf course. <laughs> I always get this really strong Debbie vibe. Is one of those little yellow pencils. <laughs> <laughs> so random. <laughs> I miss her. Aw. Want this? Oh. I just sharpened her this morning. <laughs> I think when you're dead, you're dead. You're gone. You're worm food. Wow. That's nice. So Chandler looks gay, huh? <laughs> now, I don't know who this is, but it's not Debbie. <laughs> Phoebe is so odd, and I love her so much. Sweetie, do you think you can get in there? Oh. Oh, man. Ah! <laughs> Bye. Here's my retainer. Listen to me. When my time comes, I want to be buried at sea. It looks like fun. It looks like fun. Define fun. Make a day of it. You'll get a boat, pack a lunch. Oh, okay. Everyone thinks they know me. Maybe after I'm gone, they'll say, buried at sea. Huh. <laughs> I'd like that. I mean, it'll be memorable, right? A funeral people keep talking about for years. Hey, gorgeous. I'm sorry about yesterday. Apparently other people have made the same mistake. Okay. Phew. <laughs> what do you think it is about? I don't know, but uh, have a, a quality. quality. right. No one's, he's never going to find out. Lowell? Oh, that's who you saw me with? It's cute. Oh, yeah. It's no Brian in payroll. <laughs> is Brian? No, that, I don't know. If you were going to set me up with someone, I'd like to think you would set me up with somebody like him. Brian's a little out of your league. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you don't think I could get a Brian? Oh my gosh, Chandler. Because I could get a Brian. <laughs> I have shown you every dress we have. Go with the burgundy. We'll go with the burgundy. Uh, a fine choice. <laughs> Wait, we need shoes. <laughs> He's so fed up. How about these? Um, that's really a day shoe. And where she's going, everyone else will be dressier. Could we see something in a slimmer heel? It sucks for him, but they're being so nice. I can show you something in a silver that may work. I may have something in the back. <laughs> it's like he owns a whole shop now. Oh my god. Just Nana stuff. Ah. already called this morning to remind me not to wear my ear out. No, my ears were not my best feature. <laughs> Oofed. I couldn't find my bearings. <laughs> you, you mean your earrings? What did I say? <laughs> well, don't we look nice all dressed up? It's stuff like that, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> it's stuff like that. Come here, sweetheart. <laughs> not what's the catch? You know, I think it might be time for you to start using night cream. 
Oh my gosh. Giants yeah, Cowboys. You're watching a football game at a funeral? I'm gonna watch it at the reception. Hmm. <laughs> Even though Nana's gone, there's there's something almost uh like <laughs> Whoa, dude! <laughs> Having my worst fear realized, but Yeah, that's terrifying. To look up from like a hole like that, like you're already dead. <laughs> hey, don't worry, I'm just checking to see if the muscles in spasm. But what is it? No, you missed a belt loop. <laughs> Oh my gosh, man. She makes her feel so insecure, which is just so mean. I'm Dorothy's daughter. Hi, I'm Chandler, and I have no idea who Dorothy is. <laughs> I feel great. Oh, the tablets, of course. I feel great. I feel great. <laughs> I love you guys. Aww. You guys are the greatest. Chandler. Hey, I love you, man. <laughs> Oh, is he gonna put off the other girl? Big oh, I knew it. Doesn't no. Mm. You were right. Oh. Oh, that's horrible. Poor Chandler. Oh, I love you the most. You know who I love the most? You. Okay. <laughs> I don't get it. Here in disability. What's the score? 1714 oh. Giants. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. I knew he wouldn't mind. There's the step. Oh, of course. Oh, Ross, what are you doing? Your grandmother would have hated this. So uh, I'd be hearing about why didn't I get the honey glazed ham? Didn't spend enough on flowers. Oh, so that's where she gets it from. Do you know what it's like to grow up with someone who is critical of every single thing? Yep, it's passed down. I can imagine. It's a wonder your mother turned out to be the positive, life-affirming person she is. I thought she was actually being honest for once. Because she's totally naive. If you had to do it all over again, she was here right now. Would you tell her how she drove you crazy? Hmm. Not sure I know what you're getting at. Oh, she does. Things would have been better if you just told her the truth. No. I think some things are better left unsaid. There you go. Yep. <laughs> Those earrings look really lovely on you. Thank you. They were Nana's. Oh. Mate, her mum really isn't that nice to her, but you could tell that she just tried for one second to be like, Maybe I should just hold back and not be mean. Maybe there's hope. <laughs> hey, who's this little naked guy? Uh, that little naked guy would be me. Oh, look at the little thing. <laughs> look at the little thing. Fine, that is my penis. <laughs> yeah, they're not talking about his size. Who are those people? Me and the gang at Java Joe's. It's like a fun gang. Huh. Was that a wall break? Look, I got Monica <laughs> naked. Oh, <let> me <laughs> No, no, that would be me again. Oh. That's a cute shot, though. Look at them. Just trying something. I don't know what Shelly told you about me. I'm not. That's what I told her. You can tell? Most of the time. We have a kind of radar. And Brian from payroll. Way out of your league. Oh. Out of my league. If I wanted to get a Brian. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. All right, that was episode seven and eight. I'm I'm really enjoying um, just seeing the drama basically unfolding. It's just, <laughs> the whole thing with Ross and Rachel is just driving me nuts. Um, obviously that's kind of like the main storyline, right? I feel like that's the only consistent sort of story that's going on so far is like their relationship developing, um, which is why I can't help but focus on it, right? I mean, it's just, Ah oh, man, I mean, I've said it already, but it's just like, Ross, it's like, dude, you just got to communicate. And um, obviously, Rachel responds well to people who have um, assertiveness, and he doesn't have assertiveness, but they have great chemistry. It's just such a weird sort of dynamic. Um, I really hope Ross says something soon, but I just have a feeling he won't for a while. I just feel like that's kind of the way that the show is going to go, maybe. I mean, it has been so far the last eight episodes is, you know, them getting close and then separate and then close again, something happens and then they get more distant. I, I just wonder if that's kind of like 
a pattern that happens throughout the show. I'm not too sure. Um, I loved seeing more moments with Phoebe. Just, <laughs> I just love Phoebe so much. She's hilarious. And Chandler in the last episode, how he was stuck in that the bank. That was, <laughs> it's like, dude, what happened to your Riz? And then the episode after, all these people are saying he gives off a vibe. The poor guy, he just can't catch a break. <laughs> but, and then, um, yeah, Monica with her parents again. There was like a moment of vulnerability where she was like, should I say something basically to you to tell you that I don't like the way you're treating me? And then her mom's like, no, nope, I don't want to hear that. And I think she knew. I think her mom wasn't oblivious to what she was trying to say. And I think that she was, she's so prideful that she just didn't, she refused to hear it, which is a shame. But, um, you know, she let a little bit of a, of humbleness come in, which is when she complimented the earrings. Um, so, you know, she's not totally, um, egotistical, but you know, she's pretty close. <laughs> like the fact that she couldn't even let Monica be honest with her was just kind of, it was a bit sad. Like, I feel like there are some serious topics that go throughout the show so far that are kind of covered with jokes, which is a good thing, right? I mean, it's a good way to address serious topics is to make jokes about things, um, which is what the show, I think, does really well so far. But um, yeah, it is it is a little sad in hindsight what's going on there, their relationship. Um, but yeah, Joey, Joey didn't get a, um, a lot of moments the last couple episodes, which is fine. Um, <laughs> he's just, he's a wonderful character. He's hilarious, but, uh, I'm keen to see more of him and just more like storyline sort of related stuff going on with him. So yeah. Anyway, I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Check out the full versions on Patreon and I will see you all next time. Stay cozy.